Welcome everyone to Community CPA's 3 p.m. webinar. Um, today is Thursday, so we have our guest speaker, and today we have Emner Martinez with us again. Thank you, Hi, Again? <laughs> yes. It's been a month, right, <laughs> since your last one. So um, although this topic is different, and so we are happy to have you back on. Um, I will share some slides uh, in a minute. So um, before we dive into the topic, I would like to um, tell a bit about Community CPA um, and then we'll dive right into uh, using podcasts. So yes. All right. Um, so about Community CPA, you can find us on those different channels that we have. Uh, we have obviously a website, but then you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, social media platforms. Um, we are a regional accounting firm, so we have three branches. One uh, is based in the Des Moines metro area, the other is in Coralville, Iowa City, and the third one is up in Bloomington, Minnesota in the Twin Cities. Um, so we provide a variety of accounting services, including payroll, audit tax, uh, tax planning right now is really important, so consider us for that. Um, our, sp our staff uh, collectively speak nine different languages, so we are happy to serve in those. Um, and then our CEO and managing partner is Ying Sa, and she is part of the National Taxpayer Advocacy Panel, which is an advisory committee to the IRS. So if you have ideas for improvement for the IRS process, she loves to advocate on taxpayer behalf. So you can email her um, subject line tap recommendation. Um, and then I wanted to tell people about Ying's book, um, Appointment with Ying at 8 a.m. It is about starting a business um, and she's working on her second book, her 10 a.m. book on developing the business. So stay tuned for that. Uh, no responsibility disclaimer, of course, uh, take what you hear here with a grain of salt. Um, and oh, serious. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Um, so, I wanted to introduce Amner uh, to everybody. Amner um, is uh, from Guatemala um, and he has been in the U.S. since 1990. Um, he is the owner of Infinite Resources, which is um, a staffing agency here in Des Moines. Um, and so he'll He'll do um, HR consulting as well. Um, so he has created this new uh, project platform called Amplified. So Amner, I will let you introduce the platform. Can you tell us a bit about what it is and how it came about? Yes. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. Yes, yeah. I should just come a, 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 a regular. Let's find a topic and we'll just do it uh, something. We'll talk about something. Uh, so yes, my name is Amner Martinez. Uh, Infinite Resources is my main uh, business and my main source of income. But I, uh, the last year, uh, 11 months, uh, been working with a group of very talented people and we created uh, a new platform, a new podcaster platform, a local uh, platform here in Des Moines uh, and we uh, just call it Amplified. Um, uh, it's, it's more a project of love, but um, we are wanting to challenge the uh, uh, Des Moines community, business community to see, uh, see what, what doors can open for us. That's wonderful. Thank you, Amner. And then, um, so who right now are on your on Amplified platform? Okay, so we have a, an amazing lineup. Uh, so I started my own podcast um, in the spring. It's going to be two years. There's about 29 or 30 episodes. Uh, and throughout that, all those interviews, I've met a, amazing people and, and um 
uh, I started to kind of get this sense that there's some need out there. People wanted to say something. Uh, so I, I uh, when the Amplified idea came about or started kind of creeping in my head, um, I started to, you know, think of more of a business approach. Now there is a business platform. There's a business blueprint under this, this really amazing project. Um, but after uh, uh, the death of George Floyd, uh, obviously the entire world was affected. And, and so my mind kind of pivoted a little bit of who was going to be in the, in the platform. Um, so yeah, then I started to reach out to uh, great people. For example, um, Duran Richardson, he's a poet. Uh, he's been a uh, poet for 16 plus years. Uh, and his podcast, he's going to talk about black masculinity um abena imhotep and jay uh their podcast is called uh, black and privilege in america um you know they don't necessarily uh, uh agree and that's why they chose each other as co-hosts um you know the, neither the latin latino uh community or the african-american community or any community um for that matter is monolith uh, which from the outside, we are seeing that way, you know, that's why they call it the Latino vote or the black vote, you know, so they're trying to break that. Uh, not everybody thinks the same way. We don't vote the same way. We don't have the same uh, uh, morals and, you know, so anyways, uh, Shaima Ali is another uh, great host that we have. Uh, she's from Egypt. She's the Muslim woman. Uh, and uh, her podcast is called Randomly Selected for Random Search, um, which uh, we had a great time, you know, exploring what other names uh, she was going to have for her podcast. And she came up with this one. And after she told me that name, I was like, that's it. That's the name. We're not going to talk about any other names. This is it. It's, it's amazing. After 9-11, all Muslim people have to have this stamp on their passport. Uh, and it's, uh, it's RSRS, randomly selected for random search. So it just makes it lawful for, the, for, for them to be picked randomly at an airport to get, you know, um, searched. Uh, and uh, she talks about that. She talks about it thoroughly why she picked that name and her experiences in the airport. She has somehow got randomly selected twice on that same airport. <laughs> So that's not random, right? Um, Chris Noth, he's a native uh, from uh, uh, Des Moines. He moved out. Uh, he's done over 15 years in nonprofit work. And he, two years ago, came back to Des Moines. Um, and uh, his approach is going to be more uh, local uh, issues. How can we impact? Uh, how can we have immediate impact? Uh, and and uh, he's a writer, so he'll implement some of his writings into his podcast. Um, Dr. Celisa Flores, uh, she is a, um, a psychologist. Uh, she uh, is a wellness uh, teacher, yoga instructor. Uh, she specializes in uh, eating disorders. Um, and she's also part of a group uh, that is researching uh, in psychedelics. So they're in the forefront of um, uh, in the West Coast uh, at doing research and with, with what they've come up with, they now, uh, uh, California now has legalized research for psychedelics. So her podcast is, is called Unapologetic Wellness. Um, my podcast, mine and Kenji, the, the co-producer uh, uh, of the, uh, the platform uh, is the Amner Martinez podcast. We talk to uh, local uh, uh, community leaders, um, anybody that's got interesting uh, activities and uh, community action, we want to talk to them. So uh, there's Undocumented Momhood by Laura Rodriguez. Uh, so yeah, we just have a variety. Everybody kind of brought in a different ingredient to, uh, um, to the platform. So it, it just feels like a like a great lineup to start. We already have a couple of people that are uh, in the works that we will be also adding onto the platform. So, um, and then we have our amazing Ying with her book, uh, Appointment with Ying at 8 a.m.
and that kind of came from our friendship. Me and Yang, we have we. She's like my mentor, by the way. Well, yeah, we really appreciate. Um, having it on this platform. Um, so I, I took a look at it and it is in both English and Spanish that it's pushing out. So that is, that yeah. is great. Yes. Ying is the only one that has it in English and in Spanish. My podcast is only Spanish. <laughs> okay. So tell us about the process. Like how does one create a podcast? Where does somebody start if they're kind of new to this and are interested in are interested yeah so a lot of people i found that a lot of people are interested i get messages emails uh asking me you know advice and i've been wanting to do this and all this stuff that's kind of why i started the uh amplified platform or the idea kind of came in but i anybody can uh i mean we all have our own platform right we can go live on instagram on facebook um but um, so yeah, yeah, the question is how can how can anybody start a, a podcast, right? The process, just turn on the mic, just turn on the whatever platform you choose. This is podcasting, uh, but whatever platform you choose, you just got to start doing it. That's literally how I started. Um, but you got to pick what you know. So um, I've been interviewing people for 15, 17 years. Uh, so when I wanted to just record, I was already having these really good conversations with people. I just wanted to record them. I, you know, how, how can I record them? And podcasting just lend itself to it, to, to, to the best. I don't like being on camera. Uh, so this is perfect for me, the podcasting. Um, but, but it only got going until I started doing it. So buy microphones, you know, there's kits. If you go to a guitar center, they have a kit that you can buy uh, and very, you know, microphones that can be, you can record the podcast on your, you know, on your phone. Um, uh, go to SoundCloud, create a SoundCloud account uh, and upload it. And there you go. You know, it's just how you go about it is different, right? If you want to really, I believe be taken seriously, um, you got to present yourself in a serious uh, 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 way. So we, that is one thing that I started from the beginning. I wanted to have uh, a good sound, uh, excellent guests, good content, quality content. Um, and uh, hopefully I, you know, we've achieved that and we're having fun doing it. Uh, but yeah, it, the process, in itself is not necessarily the hard part is the is that legwork that you require some of that love and you really got to want to do it to to keep going because if you don't love something if you don't love doing something it'll die off it'll you know you'll quit it i love talking and i love obviously <laughs> i love having conversations with people so then that's what i love about it so then the podcasting part uh, the technical part of my friend, uh, longtime friend, Kenji, he is the one that helps me with all the technical stuff. And we have a lot of fun putting these podcasts together. So then it just kind of, the whole process is fun for us. So, so the process is easy, but the, the, the steps are easy, but the process is where you got to find that passion for it. So something, you know, obviously something you enjoy. Um, so yeah. as Thinking about content, what is more important than like the the content material itself or volume, like a like having a set schedule? Yes. So that's a conversation that uh, a lot of marketing people are always going to be discussing, right? What? That's a key question. Uh, uh, content or volume? I'm more about content uh, because you can put a lot of stuff out there. Uh, and, uh, but if it has no value, if the, the content is not good, then, then, then you're going to lose people. In my opinion, I'm not an expert at this, by the way. Um, but there's the school of thought of like, if you put enough out there, something is going to, you know, blow up, you know, something is eventually going to pop and, and connect with, with the audience. So I think there's a balance 
you got to have quality content. You got to be proud of the product that you're putting out there. That's how it sounds. The, the, your guests or the content or whatever it is that you're putting out there has to have value. Um, but you know, you, there's gotta be some, some volume to it too. So I think the answer would be, I would, I would have carefully balanced it. <laughs> that is a good you know, answer. Why do I take long and short questions and I love, I give you long answers. <laughs> That's great. Um, so as you're thinking about content then, is there a certain length that is good for um, like an audio setting then? Sure. That's another uh, debatable <laughs> issue. Um, I think that you should do what you think it's what suits you best. Um, in the beginning, I was getting a lot of suggestions, cut it down to 20 minutes, cut it down to 30 minutes. But my format doesn't, doesn't allow that. I need a good hour at least uh, to get to know the guests and for the guests to kind of uh, get comfortable and open up and, and uh, um, you know, start to you know, kind of flow, I guess, uh, with you know, what they have to say and, and the questions that I give them. So 20 minutes wouldn't be enough for me. But, um, you know, uh, 20 minutes can work for someone else. So it's all up to you. <clears throat> uh, and that's one of the things that we talked about with the podcasters on Amplified is, you know, creatively, they have full freedom. I'm just here to kind of answer some questions uh, that I might have the answers to. Uh, uh, so time-wise, it's, it's whatever, whatever you want it to be. I mean, Podcast people listen to podcasts, right. uh, and if you have good stuff, people are going to listen. Absolutely. So it's always great that you have something to listen to, like when you're doing, you know, tasks that where you can't watch something, right? Right. You, right. you can focus on an audio. Yeah. Um, so can anyone have a podcast, or is this for business? No, I think anybody can have a podcast. My kids have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, right now, TikTok, there's people making millions. Uh, it's just a matter of like, if you start doing it, you'll find out if it's for you, you know? Uh, so yeah, I mean, I didn't know I could do a podcast and now I have a full platform, you know? Like I was just messing around with it, but it ended up being for me. So I guess uh, for anybody that wants to do it, you're only going to find out if it's for you, if you do it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, right now we, technology is literally on our fingertips. So, um, you know, but is it for everybody? It's just like leaders, right? Not everybody's meant to be a leader. So maybe podcasting is not for, maybe, maybe it's Instagram or TikTok or something or YouTube. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I think it is also a great platform that individuals can use, but, and as we look towards business, are there, um, how, how is, can this be a way that people can use to support their business? Yeah. I per so I have my own company. It's infinite resources. I'm a headhunter recruiter. I'm in sales, I'm uh, in HR, consulting. So this podcast has opened so many doors for me. It's, I can't even begin to name the doors that I've opened. Not only I gained new friendships, created relationships. So this is an excellent networking platform. And it, it, it's an excuse for people to come for you. You know, you used to ask people to go to lunch, right? We can't do that right now. Uh, or coffee, we can't do that, or conferences, or all that stuff is out. So this is an excellent way to, to get to know people, to network with people, to uh, elaborate on your, on who your, what your company is and your services and your product, um, because you have endless amount of time. Uh, and uh, if there's anybody out there looking for what, you provide the services that you provide, then they're gonna, you know, 
what do we do when we're looking for anything, right? We go and look online and YouTube is like, how do you do this? You know, how do you connect this speaker to this? Or how do you, you know, what's this new vacuum? And then there's people just, uh, 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 there's enough content out there that, that, that people can get information from. So if you have a service, you're a chiropractor or, you know, an accountant, <laughs> a CPA, or, you know, my services, uh, uh, staffing or whatever, it, it's a great new tool to get your brand out there and your story and elaborate more, you know, instead of just hoping for somebody to, to see one of your um, Facebook ads or, or your, you know, yard sign or something. So, and it's fairly inexpensive. It's not that expensive. Right. So as somebody is trying to do this to promote business, I saw on your platform that there is a variety, those who are just doing it as individuals, but then those where it's affiliated with um, a company or a business. Um, as they're looking to that, how how do they get their podcast seen, I guess, in, sure. in other platforms, in Spotify, in Apple Podcasts? There's endless numbers of, of uh, uh, streaming services. The biggest ones is Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, YouTube. But after those, the big ones, there's a bunch of them. The one that I like is SoundCloud because SoundCloud kind of becomes the engine for everything else. So it's the, the one that spreads everything out for you. So Apple podcast they have a certain amount of podcast episodes that you have to have before they can allow you on their uh to be on apple podcast uh spotify is the same way so you have to submit your episodes send them i think like five or nine episodes and then they review it and then they get back to you and then you're you're in um so that's that's the place to start um and then it just depends on how broad you want to get you know um and uh you know for example we did a press release for amplified and uh you know the the one register uh came about and spoke to us uh Ola america uh touched our story uh, so it just depends on how how much reach you want to you want to have right so for you personally, um, what are you hoping to? Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back to go back to Ying. <laughs> we gotta talk about Ying. So, Ying Ying's friendship and I started uh, uh, seven years ago, I think, or more. Um, and every time I need advice, and every time I, I need uh, uh, something to be clarified or cleared, she just has this uh, uh, magic way of doing it. Uh, and then when I found out that she was, that she wrote a book, she's in one of my podcast episodes and we talked about her book, uh, Appointment with Ying. And when I was, uh, uh, putting together the, uh, the Amplified roster, you know, Ying just made sense, uh, to bring her on board, you know, because we had all the elements of other voices, uh, and, um, her book just made sense to be in one of the, uh, or be one of the uh, hosts in the, on the platform. So you can find uh, Yang, it's, it's an audible, right? It's an audio uh, 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 version of her book. It's in English and Spanish. And I, I read it and it helped me with my business because she puts it in a very, um, I love the way that she breaks it down in the beginning where she says, in the land of business, in the land of business, we're all immigrants. It doesn't matter what education or language you have. Once you enter the land of business, you're 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 a foreigner. You're an, you're an immigrant to it, and and that approach alone just kind of made it easy for me to kind of understand the, the 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 book very well. So, um, and she apparently has appointment with Yang at ten. Yes. That appointment with you at 10 a.m. She's still working on it. Um, right. about halfway through. And so we'll we'll look if you want to start your own business, Ying literally breaks it down for you. 
She does. And the thing about hers is that she, you know, she meets with um, a lot of clients over the years. Um, and so a lot of her stories are based off of what her what she and her clients have learned about business during this time. So it has a bunch of useful information um, and also uh, quizzes that you can uh, figure out, you know, what land of business you belong to and, and what uh, what your passion is and uh, utilizing those things. Yeah. yeah. Are you the land of the hand or the land of the head or the land of the heart? I am primarily the land of head. Um, so, yes. And Ying is uh, land of heart for sure. Yes. I think I am too. I think land of the head, the head for me and heart, both. Like I, I'm passionate about stuff and I get into it. And she mentions that too on her book is like, you, you got to learn how to monetize your passion, which for a nonprofit person out there that's very passionate about something and they love it so much and they don't want to like taint it right with money. But Ying challenges you and she's like, how long is that sustainable? How much can that go on? You know, because that energy that you have, that passion could dwindle down. But if you put a, a blueprint, a, f a financial blueprint under it, it can live with or without you, right? And that's kind of, I use that a lot for the, for the Amplified platform, to be honest. Um, it is definitely a project of love, but... Uh, there's there's a bliss business blueprint that 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 is there for uh, for it to continue on and see how how far it can go. Because you want it to grow and you don't want yeah. it to just constantly be taxing, right? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. And this is this was thanks to like her book. Honestly, this is uh, uh, she gives really really insightful tips on how to start your business. I'll let her know you said that. Thank you. That was very, very nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for you personally, um, you you mentioned that it is a project of of love. Um, so, what are you you mentioned a bit about what you're hoping for this project? But if you want to elaborate on that, we have a little time left. So. No, yeah, just you know, there, we live in 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 a city here, Des Moines, Iowa, that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, 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 in the business community, there's this uh, outpouring, you know, voices of like inclusivity and, or businesses, they're saying, we're inclusive, we're diverse, like we're creating forums. Pre-COVID, there was a lot of forums of, uh, of inclusivity and, and uh, uh, diversity and all this stuff. So one one of the things that I want to do is just create this conversation of, of that they're so willing to have, right? Uh, uh, the business community. Uh, we want to be part of these conversations because uh, to be diverse and inclusive, uh, you don't just invite people just to talk about it. You got to have them in your structure, in, in your uh in your corporation, you got to have them inside too. So I want to have, I want to see how much this conversation we get, how far we can take it. That's awesome. And this is a Des Moines Register article, um, at least the first part of it. So you can search for it and find it online. Um, and yeah, Melody Mercado, she's a, a reporter. Um, she's from Puerto Rico, but she works with Des Moines Register and uh, she, I believe she lives here in the morning. She lives here in the morning, actually. Uh, and yeah, she did a great job. So I'm very thankful for her. And see, this is what happens when you have somebody in your staff, whatever it is that you do, of, you know, uh, so she's representative of, of, of uh, the Latinx, Latino community, however you want to call it. And she's reaching out to, you know, so she's creating this, this content. She, uh, She's, she's reaching out to, to the community, right? But if you have a, 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 a CEOs and CFOs and all your senior leadership and all the board of directors, and if they're all 
uh, male and white, then and then you try to claim that you want to be diverse, then that's not. You got to start from the top. Right. Absolutely. Um, so thank you again for coming on. I want to wrap up um, with your contact information so that people can uh, find out more about Amplified, contact you. Um, I imagine you'd still have openings in, in the collective if people yeah. want to, to join in, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's voices out there. We want to hear what people have to say. We obviously want to be very selective of who's going to come and be part of the platform uh, because uh, it is an important project for us, for all of us. Um, uh, and again, uh, to the business community, uh, you know, the, the invitation is out there. Our, our contact information is out there. Reach out to us and let's start talking. Awesome. Uh, finally, I wanted to give everyone my contact information, Catherine at communitycpa.com. We have webinars every day from Monday through Saturday um, at, at 3 p.m. So um, Tuesdays are our short English days. It's 30 minutes. Um, and Saturdays is our full hour long webinars. Um, and then the other days, um, except for Thursday, which is for guests, um, we have them in other languages. So Mandarin, Chinese, Vietnamese, and Spanish. Um, so join us next time. Thank you again, Amner. I really appreciate your time and conversation. Yes, thank you, Catherine. You're uh, one of the hardest working people I know. So uh, thank you for helping me through uh, all this. Thanks, Amner. Take care. Right. Yep, have a good day. Me too.